Hello YouTube, it's Barbara Jean. <clears throat> I have a, um, I don't think it's going to be a very long word today. Um, <clears throat> I've had uh, some interesting moments this last couple of weeks. Uh, the Lord has been really working very hard and getting all those hidden things inside of me. I just, I, I've just been amazed. Things that hidden resentments and fears and anxieties that I hadn't had no idea that I had um, are are surfacing and uh, so it's been rather interesting um, one really deep one I just had was a, uh, a uh, hidden resentment towards my brother that I didn't know and it took a lot for the Lord to get it out a lot uh, a lot of spiritual digging for the Lord on the Lord's part and patience on my part <laughs> But uh, the Lord is faithful and he will finish what he started. But I wanted to come on to give you an encouraging word. Um, uh, it's a little bit complicated. I've got a couple of Bible verses I want to talk about. But um, the last night I was praying to the Lord, <laughs> having a conversation with the Lord. And I was saying, you know, Lord, I, I really need an encouraging word right now. I need an encouraging word that... We're coming to the end of this thing <laughs> and that we're getting ready to go home. Just, I just need some encouragement right now. So um, anyway, last night, the Lord gave me a word. He did give me a word and then he gave me a vision. I had, like I said, I've had several interesting dreams in the last little while, but um, what I want to share with you, I think, is for the whole church, uh, for the Bride of Christ. And uh, anyway... Uh, I want to first read a couple of Bible verses, and it uh, shouldn't take too long today. Let me just first read Ma uh, Ephesians, or should I read Revelations? Let me read Re Revelations chapter 12, starting at verse 10. And I heard a loud, loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Okay. Now, I wanted to talk about um, this word that I had last night. Actually, it was early this morning. I was sitting in my chair under the anointing, and I heard very clearly this word. But now, I should have writ, wrote it down at the time, but I didn't. But the general gist of the word, and it wasn't a female ver voice. I heard a female, a woman's voice speak to me. And she said, uh, no more accusation, no more, no more hold, no more accusation. So from that word, I, I gathered that that uh, the accuser of the brethren has been cast down or basically has no more hold on the bride, that the bride has now um, overcome all legal legalese or legal legalism against her and that there is no hold, nothing holding her back from being raptured. She can now be raptured at any time. That's the gist of what I got, that from this word, it was, like I said, very clear, and it was in this woman's voice that spoke to me and said, no more hold, no more accusation. So that, um, because it is a legal, we're in, we're in a legal battle here, people. We're in a legal battle. Satan has had legal battle, a legal case against the brethren. He's had a legal case against humanity to, to uh, steal our inheritance, to take away our rights. Um, but the bride of Christ has been battling this for for the last two thousand years now, battling Satan to find um, her freedom from this legal this legal case against her, basically letting go of all the lies and deceptions. And so this word was very encouraging to me, and I think it'll be very encouraging to you that Satan no longer has a legal case; that there's no hold, nothing holding the bride to the earth. She's no longer shackled to these accusations of Satan. Now, the other word I want to give you, let me first read a couple more Bible verses here for you. Ephesians, uh, Matthew 9, 10. Um, and it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, 
Behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And I also want to read Ephesians Ephesians 5, 25. Husbands, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, for he might sanct that he might sanctify it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. <gasps> Outside! Out! That he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Okay. I am going to leave it there. So, uh, this was actually a dream I had just this afternoon. Uh, again, I was sitting in my chair under the anointing, and um, I had this interesting dream. And this dream was I was had gone into a doctor's office. Now, the doctor's office was interesting because I wasn't facing, you know, when you walk into an office, Usually the doctor's facing towards you, his back to the window, and you're walking in and you sit down facing the window or wherever at the wall of the doctor's office. In this case, the doctor was, I was sitting with my back to the window, uh, uh, the window, a uh, very large window. I was sitting with, I sat with my back to the window, and the doctor came in and sat down facing me with his back to the waiting room. Now the wait, there was a waiting room, and it was half wall and half glass. And I could see into the waiting room by, because I was facing the waiting room. And I had come in with my sister. And my sister was wearing white. And she sat down and she was very anxious to leave. We were both anxious to go. <coughs> so I was sitting down in, in my chair. And the doctor came in and sat down facing me. And he said to me, he said, uh, he said do you understand how important it is for you to stay a little while longer to finish this? And I said, yes, I, I understand. I said, I, I really, I was looking at my sister because I could see that she was really anxious to leave. And, and I'm thinking to myself, I could go now. I could go. I could go. But I, this doctor had a very stern look on, on his face and he had actually an interesting looking face. Hey, that's enough. So he had a very um, stern face and he had these funny eyebrows, actually. They were kind of half eyebrows, um, big bushy eyebrows. That's what I noticed about his face. It was very un unusual. And he he was looking at me with a very stern look. He said, do you understand how important it is for you to finish this? And I said, yes, I understand. I, and I, I, I'm going to finish it. I want to finish it. I know how important it is for me to be healed. I want to be completely healed. And he said, you understand? Are you, we're going to finish this now. I said, yes, I'm going to finish it. And then he seemed to get this really... Um, um, oh, oh, he really happy look. He went from really stern to smiling like... Good. <laughs> Great answer. You did. You had the right answer. I said, I just want to go and tell my sister. I said, I just need to go tell my sister that we're just going to be a little while longer. We're just going to be a little longer. And he, like I said, this doctor had a big smile on his face, like, you know, you made the right decision. This is the right thing to do. So that was the end of the dream. And what I got from that dream was that, that the bride of Christ is getting re is ready to go. She's ready to go. She can go anytime. But the, the physician, the great physician, was saying to me, not quite yet. <laughs> There's still a few things to finish. There's still a few things that have to be accomplished. You know, it was trying to emphasize to me how important it was just to stay just a little bit longer to make sure it's all finished. And I was saying, yes, I understand. I, and I, I'm, I'm going to stay. I intend to stay as long as it takes because I want to be healed. I want to be without spot or wrinkle. <laughs> And I was looking at my sister and I was anxious for my sister because I wanted my sister to understand that she, as, as anxious as we both were, that's enough, Maxwell, stop. As anxious as we both were to, um, to leave, I wanted to, to comfort my sister, to let her know that there was just a little bit more to go. There was just a little tiny bit more and then we could leave. So I wanted to give you this encouraging word. The Lord gave me this encouragement and I wanted to give it to you that we haven't got much longer to go. We're almost done. We're almost finished the race, people. 
but there's just a little bit left. And the Lord is very anxious for us to be completely without spot and wrinkle. He is working on us and he's getting rid of all the last little bits, the last little spots, the last little wrinkles, because it's important to him. He wants, as much as we're anxious to go and is anxious for him to, to want to take us, it's, he's also very anxious or he very, it's very important to him that we be completely without spot and wrinkle. And we're almost there. We're almost there. Woo-hoo! <laughs> anyway, I better go because my, my dog's acting up. So um, anyway, I will talk to you all later. God bless.